Hi, I'm Dr. Pompa. You know what the most dangerous room in your house is? Yeah, I'm standing in it right now, your bathroom. This is the first part of a series that we're going to be doing on why toxic homes could be causing your unexplainable illnesses. In the bathroom, ladies, you start your day with about 518 chemicals that you're putting on every day right here in your bathroom. Out of that 518 chemicals, guess what? 216 are known to cause cancer. 95% of them are hormone disruptors. We're going to be going through these chemicals that you're getting exposed to right in your bathroom to start every day. And we're going to go through them one at a time so you're educated on why your bathroom could be making you sick. Now, just as a starter for the first series of the first part of our series, I want to talk about deodorants. We're talking about something that you're putting on every day on the most porous part of your body, your armpits. Actually, they are made to sweat. So the, really the most dangerous thing you could do is stop your armpits from sweating. So if you're using antiperspirants, please stop. However, we also know that just the deodorants that you're using contain many toxic things from things like propylene glycol, which is actually antifreeze, and also something called DEA, also phthalates. Phthalates are plastics that absorb right into your bloodstream. And by the way, your armpits, you put it there, it's into your bloodstream in moments. And guess what? Phthalates, things called DEHP, things that go right into your bloodstream, mimic your hormones, hormone disruptors, leading to things like weight gain, hormone imbalance, um, all kinds of mood disorders, and we can go on and on from the dangers of these chemicals. Now, deodorants. Most of us think, okay, great, let's get something healthy. They go to the store, they use a healthy deodorant, which they think is healthy, but really most of the ingredients probably aren't healthy because these things, even the natural ones, contain fragrance. By the way, fragrance, one of the most toxic things on this planet, also contain phthalates, also disrupt your hormone system. So even if it's natural, doesn't mean it's good. Now, here's the other problem. Most of them, they don't work. So you put them on and you're saying, gosh, yeah, by, you know, halfway through your day, you still have a problem. This is the one that I actually use. I do sell it. We do sell it on our website. Guys, it really does work. That's why I use it myself. And let me tell you something. Not only does it work well, but it actually smells good and there's no dangerous fragrances. So look, we're going to be going through, we want to go through some of the toxic makeups. By the way, like I said, makeup, ladies, you're putting on 518 chemicals every day to start your day, major chemicals. Lipsticks, studies show that out of 33 that they looked at, 22 of them have lead, very high levels, not to mention BPA, phthalates, and a lot of other chemicals that cause hormone imbalance. So guys, we're going to be going through these products and just showing you very easy switches you can do. We're starting in the most toxic place in your bathroom. Wait till you see the things that will surprise you, believe me, the things that are possibly causing your symptoms and even unexplainable symptoms. But we also want to go through the home, you know, looking at your bedroom, you know, how to really make the perfect little sanctuary for sleep because a lot of people are being poisoned for eight hours as you're sleeping in your kitchens. Wait till you see the number one toxic appliance in your home. So we're going to be doing this series, so t stay tuned. And we're doing this series because we understand and we see patients all the time that get sick from their homes. So stay tuned.